That's why Roger Pedactor's dead. He found Captain Winky. <laughs> <laughs> big old Mr. Kanish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into a big old Mr. Kanish himself. Ooh. Marlon. Marlon Mack. Mac. Bit of a point of contention here. Yeah. Married to the game. Not because we dislike him. We actually really like the guy. We we kind of pumped him up last offseason as, a, as an pump, electric. Pump, pump him up. <laughs> an electrifying player. That uh, needed some some polishing. He uh, had some uh, some things to learn, you know. He needs to learn <laughs> the way I learned from my father, the way he learned from his father. <laughs> Basically, uh, Marlon Mack needed to learn from his dad, Frank Gore. Yeah, how to not Frank the tank everything outside. Frank the tank don't play that. Right, and so last off season we had to kind of come on, on the mics and like. Settle down the hype on Marlon Mack because everybody was like, oh my gosh, he's about to be better than Frank Gore. He's going to overtake this backfield and be the best thing ever. And we were like, hold on a second. Maybe Old Robert Frank- Turbin had something to say about that for a minute and then he got hurt. Yeah. Gun well, show. Frank Gore had something to be yeah. said. I mean, Frank the Gore inconvenient just- truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which he's coming back for his 35 year old age season. Like, well, come on, Frank. You should just ride just off into the up. sunset, man. Frank doesn't ride off. Of- no way. Like, he wants to bring it back, but he's not going to be a Colt. Yeah, they're going to cut ties. So, But there's a chance that Saquon could come in here. Well, that um, would really put a huge damper, damper if, they, on, yeah. if they drafted Saquon. And But I, I couldn't really blame them if they did. Um, I do think that there's, there's no chance they're not adding a running back or two. I would like probably. to see them draft like Bradley Chubb or somebody else besides Saquon but. right right like a, something to help out this offensive line help out Andrew Luck but I mean so to get to get back to the tease sure before we left you said maybe you would draft Mac over Foreman is that is that what you were alluding that's, to that's yeah that's kind of what I, I want to do almost I mean I just the, the Achilles is really scares me I do believe that Foreman is, is going to be behind Lamar Miller this year I do like what Foreman brought to the table, but man, look and, and looking back at Mac, I, I had to go watch some some of his his tape from this past year in the NFL, and he he put some really good stuff down. Yeah, I mean he he it, looked like the guy a, he was in college. He looked like a magician. He, it, there was some plays where it he it shouldn't was, have gotten out right. of that. Yeah, no, and then I, he busted it off. A hundred percent, he really slithered. He looked great catching the ball. Yeah, like they threw him some screens. There was some through the tackles running. Scored a couple touchdowns doing that. But also look great bouncing back it, as well, right? Look so. good bouncing it outside too, which is his forte, and that was our issue with him was that he needed to to learn a little bit more about playing the running back position, especially okay. coming to the NFL. But now he's got a whole year where he learned from Frank Gore. Apparently, America believes you. They're going with <laughs> Mac. They're going with Mac over Foreman. Mac yeah. averages at ninety six. Foreman averages at ninety eight. Big Co, where, where are you at here? I'm taking, you, you didn't think no, on I, the on the T's going out. You were mm, questionable. Yeah, what I mean. You got? I, I, I definitely think that there's you can pick out some plays where Mac looks fantastic. There's no doubt about it. There's you know we all liked him last off season. Mac can look really good. I just feel like the I feel like I I would rather have Foreman on my team than Mac, and I I'm, I wouldn't pick Mac over Foreman under any circumstances. All right, under any circumstances. Mm. I, I mean, like, I, yeah, I like okay, that. Okay, I like so that you if, guys are uh, bah. under why if Roto World comes out and tells me that that. Foreman's Achilles isn't right. They're you know that's different, but he's on track, quote unquote, as of now. So I would not. Not Also loves Foreman. I wouldn't take Mac over Foreman. I would not. Why? Why? Because I just think I mean because I like the guy that's super fast and he's two hundred thirty pounds versus the guy that's super fast at two hundred ten pounds. I'm a weightist. Passes. I'm a weightist. Marlon Mac. (laughs) I guarantee had more than three catches on less snaps than than Foreman did. I know you love your PPR floor guys. Sure, but I also like my big dude guy, that, my big guys that can plug it in at the goal line too. And I like the guy that's playing with Deshaun Watson for sure. I'm not even—I don't even know for a fact if Andrew Luck will ever play again. He's throwing weighted balls. <laughs> that was my line last <laughs> I week. Know, I know. Use that against you. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I, I can't, oh, I can't John, really argue with you too much. I just wanted to hear you yeah. justify a little. I, I don't know. Be a freaking I, crying shame if Andrew Luck doesn't play. But I'm just, yeah, you know, be very terrible. I, I'm right. banking on uh, I'm banking on this on the Colts. Having Andrew Luck, not drafting Saquon, and uh, Marlon Mack getting a, a legit shot to prove that he learned in his first year and can step into this role. I, I will say that I don't think that they'll move forward with Marlon Mack being like their their lead bell cow. Bell no. cow in, yeah. in, but as long as they don't draft another bell cow, 
then I'm, I'm yeah, fine. Yeah, he's a complimentary he, type role back. I mean, he's a 210-pounder. He's fourth-round pick. So, Not that it matters anymore, but, I mean, so, my boy, my my boy's 100, 230 pounds and third-round pick. Got them both going for me. I'll tell you. Foreman's a little fat. Foreman's I'll tell you what. Maybe cut down a little bit. Old Mike Mayock did not like what what they were doing at the draft, with showing those monkeys making those picks. He had a shit fit about that at the at the old draft oh, yeah. last year when Marlon Mack got picked for the Colts. He was like, "If they go back to the zoo and show <laughs> yeah, this orangutan yeah, one more time, <laughs> he was getting really upset. This about is about that. the kids." Yeah. <laughs> Mike funny. Mayock got so salty about that orangutan making picks. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> then the boys started breaking down the orangutan. Yeah, it gets <laughs> they, things get weird when you watch draft coverage for that. Even the day today, three, e- even the combine in the second, third day today. When I mean, what the hell did we talk been about? Sitting there forever. Them boys just Michael Irving and Steve Smith were. Going back and Chopping forth. Chopping it up. Old Steve Smith was like, why does your shirt keep getting tighter every year? He was like, when you're done with that, give that back to my son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gave him some. He was like, you know, you got a, you got a PH. I got a PhD in route running. Are you saying that you just, you just got like a, like a minor in route running? And Irvin was like, nah, I'm big bodied and I can run the routes. <laughs> he, he was like, I have both of them. <laughs> so, so back to the question. What about you, Case? Mac or Foreman here? Hmm. I'll go. I'll, I'll, I like both of these guys. What do you? What do you? And um, if, if I want to know what you, I can feel it all the way down in my plums. What's in the plums? Mm, in the in the plum, I, I like I like the I think Foreman and the offense and and what's going on over there. I, I like that a little better. Bingo. Uh, but I could really go either way, man. Re- honestly, whichever one's on Suck the board. It, reindeer which, games. <laughs> You can take you can take a complimentary piece, which take, whichever take, one take hangs around piece, a little take the lead dog. I don't like this complimentary piece. You gotta take the lead dog, or you gotta uh, take the guy that you're giving while. him. He's whichever one a... hangs around longer for me is the one that I'm gonna uh, probably put on my team. I like Foreman's outlook for maybe being possibly slightly more bell Better. cowish, um, but the the electric. But take this though, Big Co. I bet you make Max. Value rises as the as the draft approaches and as the season approaches. And Foreman, if they keep Lamar Miller around, I know how you love this quick turnaround. I bet you Mac gives you better, quicker return, return on, on investment. your investment than Foreman does. If you get are you caught, playing the long game here for if, the first if time? If you get oh. caught holding the flip when the market tanks, you're stuck. <laughs> you could be in a bad spot. I could be. I'm gonna grab old. Hey, the, he he knows gonna, Warren Buffett. I'm gonna <laughs> grab. We text. He writes. No, I thought it was letters, but. <laughs> No, we text. You write letters. He said you said he wrote Carrier your letter. Carrier pigeon. I guarantee he writes letters still. That's probably pretty <laughs> he solid. He does. He does. He does text as well, though. He yeah. probably has some cute girl doing the texting for him, I would assume. But speaking of texting. <laughs> you got billions of dollars. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm taking I'm taking Foreman, and I'm going to hold on. I'll, I'll, you can let Mac kind of have a little value increase. Foreman's value, if, like I said, as soon as you see him it's running full around. full steam ahead. As soon as you see him running full around. Full steam ahead. You put him in a pair of cleats, and boy, that ADP's taking People off. People love Foreman. They just want to be. People want to be a part of Foreman. Yeah. They're going to will him to be good. I guess, you know, I, I like Foreman. I'm not trying to argue against Foreman. No. I just, I, I, we've kind of been off Mac just because of all the hype, and I think I'm ready to get back in there. It was just for his rookie season. I right. just wanted to, to temper He's not gonna. He wasn't going to take Frank Gore's job. Like, let's be honest. Let's be real This here. is a, Basically, Foreman was a guy that you had to take at the end of a first or high second last year, and Mac was a guy that you... Uh, actually, I guess by the time the draft yeah. was rolling around, you were probably taking by Mac. By the time like the draft rolled around, mid, Mac was second. way too expensive right. to take. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that's the end. I said it er- I said it 9 or 10 earlier. I had my math off. That's the end of 96 is like 8-12 for Mac. So, you got, you're taking Mac at the end of the 8th, the beginning of the ninth round. I can't do that. Can't do it. All right. 